Daddy has a good day too. Take it easy. Man, how are you? Day one's been fantastic. The setup is really, really cool. Uh, Luke is my sporting hero. He's killing it at the moment. And Tom's going to make it number three without doubt. And Luke's definitely going to be on the podium. Sporting the budgie smugglers. Oh, the best day, honestly. What a great experience. It was, it was a, a lifetime ambition to come and we've got here and what a great experience it was. We watch to, it every year at Christmas, don't we? And to be here is... To see, to see yeah. Tom and Luke perform, what a great experience. We've seen it in the UK, but out here is another level. Brilliant. What's up, what's up? We're going to get spicy today or what? How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I just kind of retore my form from uh, Europe, so... We're going we're gonna to see. It's not, it's not certain yet, so we'll see how warm it's feeling. If warm it's feel decent, then I'm going to give it a go. <laughs> First of all, a oh, day of all strongest man was pretty awesome. A lot of exciting lifts, uh, results, some surprising, some not. I'm looking forward to second day. <laughs> yeah, that looks pretty good actually. <laughs> What's up guys, Flex Lewis here and we're on day two of the World's Strongest Man and of course two of my favourite people to watch are the Stoughton Brothers. Actually waking up this morning, looking out my balcony window, on the beach was a Stoughton in the sand. I don't know if you've seen this or not, but uh, what a great way to wake up and what a great way to see the support that these guys have all the way from Scotland. Um, again, as I said, two of my favourite people to see always on the circuit and here I am again in support of these fantastic athletes and gentlemen. Good luck, boys. Idiots, bro. <laughs> Whoever the hell owns this company, Nestle, better give me some damn money. I'm tired of all the free publicity. With 10 reps, let's hear it for Luke Stoltman! So once again you'll see that... I don't know, because he didn't do 10 reps, he did like 13, 14, so I don't know what... Yeah, I don't know what... He must have, he must have been disallowed. I would maybe challenge that, because... Yeah, how many, how many did he get disallowed? The first three. Yeah, I thought... But but the think, first three. Yeah, because he was too far forward, they said, and he was at an angle, but they Yeah, yeah, I was going to say, that's why I didn't know why he got some reps. I don't know. They're all speaking about it now. Can you try one? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Let's speak to the Kim and Kevin together. Yeah. 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 Come over on your own if you don't mind. Kevin! He was like, down, down. And he's like, get, what would he say, down? He's like, get more. Right, okay. So, the first event's done from day two, the Viking. A little bit of a drama show for Luke. Um, so, the rule is that the Viking has to come down below the ear 
And on Luke's first couple of reps, he got the wrong foot stance, which put the Viking a bit too far behind him, and it caused it to be a little over his ear. He didn't get any warning, rep, uh, warning uh, signs from the ref, though. He just kept giving him down. So he did do three reps like that. And then he corrected his foot stance and got it all perfect. Um, but at the end, they announced he had 10 reps, which was really bad for Luke, because that would have been, a, I think, a four-way tie on 10 reps. Um, and it would have created a lot of gap in the points. Uh, I think he still would have been in second, to be fair, but um, obviously not ideal. So after uh, the, the refs had a bit of a chat and they decided to give Luke um, one rep of the three that they disallowed, uh, but Kevin Fairs also got um, one. The same thing happened to Kevin. He got an extra rep given as well. So now points-wise, going into uh, the yoke race, we've got Tristan on 20 points, Luke on 17 and a half, and then um, Eddie Williams on 15 and a half. So it looks like Luke may be in the stone off uh, unless he's able to win the yoke and make up uh, two and a half points on Tristan. Not sure how Tristan is at yoke, but we'll, we'll have to see. I know Luke's very good, so as long as Luke has a good run. At least he knows he's into the stone off and uh, yeah, hopefully can send the stones. He's a Staltman, so he should send the stones and get into the final. How's the heart rate? The heart rate after that is just about coming down under 200 beats per minute because, uh, yeah, it was... Uh, when they read out 10 reps, I was like, oh no, that was like worst case scenario, really, because I knew he needed 11 minimum um, and 10 would have been, like I say, a four-way tie, so that would mean that there would be a massive gap in the Tristan would have been probably on 22 or 3 points and Luke on about 16, 17, so it would have been impossible to catch him, but it's still possible now, so the heart rate's you know, getting back to normal. So day two of World's Strongest Man is about to start. Um, Luke's already been, really solid performance. A few things were highlighted with how they're judging it, which has led us really nicely to uh, prepare for Tom's performance. So luckily he's out last because he had such a good performance in the sandbags. We're hoping, as always at World's Strongest Man, to do the minimum to get the result. Hopefully go into the car walk with a bit of a buffer and avoid doing the stones. Um, get back to the hotel nice and early, get some food and get ready for World's Strongest Man final. The two times SBD World's Strongest Man, Tom Stockman! Breathe, Tom, shake it off! Shake it off, come on! Shake it off! Shake, shake, let's go again! Let's go again! Come on, you go! You got it! One more, Tom, come on! Come back! Come on! Get it! Let's go, Tom! Yeah, he got 14 reps. I wasn't sure if he got 15 and one disallowed or something, um, but 14, which put him in first place, that's all he needed for that event anyway um, to get the points. And I think he's four and a half points ahead um, in first place of his group. So he would just need to do like at least third in the car walk, which I think he'll win anyway, but like he just needs at least third to get free and have to do the stones after that. And that'd be nice, so we can just go chill. But <laughs> we never know what can happen. The strong man is hot and he's really chilled today. He's not got that aggression that he needs for the final. He likes to save that and keep it for when it's really needed. And it's just long days here and trying to switch on at the right time, is, it can be difficult, but he's smashing it anyway. Brother, there's an endless road to rediscover.
Together for Trey Mitchell! What an effort there. Representing Great Britain, the reigning Europe's strongest man, Luke Stoltman! Come on, you! Straight for me! Yeah! Yeah! Step! 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 Come on, you! Come on! Come on, Luke! Yeah! Yeah! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on, you! Come on! Come on! Come on, keep it going, keep it going, keep it going! We're fine, we're fine. We're good, we're good. We're fine. So, day two, event two, the yoke race. Very stressful times, very stressful times. So, Luke decided to throw a bit of drama in and drop it after a meter or two, which made my heart beat very fast. But then he got into his stride. The thing is out there, guys, that you might not be able to see it uh, so much of the videos, but it looks matted, but it's just one mat on top of sand. So you've got like a 160 kilo guy with a thousand pounds on his back. When they're striding, you can see that the mat's gonna sink a little bit and it's just throwing uh, the guys off until they get into the stride and kind of feel out the surface. Uh, but Luke's job there was to finish the yoke and then he was guaranteed to go for into the stone off. So it's gonna be Luke versus Eddie Williams in the stone off which is a better drawing than Luke versus Trey in the stone off because as you know, Trey is exceptional at, um, at stone for reps. So hopefully we can have a good send. Luke's stones are the best they've ever been at the moment. So I'm very confident that he can, he can give it a good send and um, hopefully get through without too much of an effort into the, into the final. Yeah, that. Why? That's for fun. <laughs> you ask stu stupid question to me. You better win the stone off. Yeah, yeah I need. Yeah. Yes. It's good that I'm not against you. No, I'm, I'm against you now. No! I uh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. I wait, I have a better idea. We color a little bit your bird, make your head more uh, straight like mine, yeah. but we are almost similar. Yeah. <laughs> then you do stone off in my place. <laughs> So one man can go no more. So Put your hands together for It's been a magnificent couple of days. I think we've seen the best men come to the fore, which is what we want. Uh, we've seen some new guys come through, which wasn't unexpected, but I think perhaps to those who didn't know them well, uh, they were a surprise, the likes of uh, Tristan Hoth. You know, Dawinski, these guys are, are rock stars. You know, they've come through the OSG system. But of course, we've seen uh, Tom Stoltman do particularly well. Uh, Luke Stoltman's got a hell of a battle ahead of him. It's going to be a real tough battle for Luke. But uh, you know, one thing he can do is lift stones. He was just about born lifting stones. And hopefully, he can, he can produce the goods for the, for the Stoltman channel. <laughs> Group number four, this is the one that Edward Singleton sells. Just 
Straight down and go. Straight down and go. Down and go now. Get the pressure on. Come on. Come on, Luke. Squeeze it. You keep using that boy. Come on, you. You need to breathe. Keep breathing. Okay, see you. Breath, breath, breath. Breathe. You're not greeting again. Oh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to find out today, guys. See you in the weekend. Uh, so, Stone Off's just finished. Uh, it, it was tough, it was close. It's always tough in these stone offs, uh, especially when Luke's head tab of Eddie. I love Eddie as well. I love all the other fucking strong men. So it's hard when it's head tab, but obviously, Team Stoltman, Luke pulled it out of the bag. It does come down to a lot of the experience in these stone offs with having a good tacky setup and tape and stuff. And, uh, you know, these are Stoltman, so they know what they're doing on the stones. And, um, yeah, Eddie's tacky started to run and he started to slip. Uh, I think Luke had a couple more reps so after him as well. Like but yeah, end of the day, it doesn't matter. Won the stone off into the final. Two stoppers in the final. Let's go. Right, guys, so that is the qualifiers done. I got it through. The game plan worked. You know, I only had to pick up the car last event, so I'm nice and fresh, ready for uh, ready for battle on the weekend. Just had to get Luke's head into it. You know, Luke's one of the best stone lifters in the world now. But you know, I know how to do uh, stone offs. So in stone offs, you can't let them have it. You can't let them rest. And with him, he didn't let Eddie. As soon as the stone went over to him, he didn't let Eddie rest, he went straight back over. And that, you know, Eddie was trying to play with his tacky, so it was very good tactics by Luke. And uh, he had two or three left in him, and I think he was in control from the start with that as well. So, um, you know, it's uh, good when you have good tacky as well. I think the tacky I use is the best in the world, so uh, I get it made for me. So, very appreciated with that. But anyway, all right, we're just going to rest up now. It's been a, a very good day for us, and that's as in another final. So, uh, we can uh, sleep happy tonight and just have a nice chilled out day tomorrow and uh, get ready for Saturday and Sunday, because, yeah. Big things are coming. Hey guys, stone off Dan. Turns out I'm going to be working this weekend, so. <laughs> Jeez, so I was going to get. I might have had the weekend off, but we go again on Saturday, so. <laughs> That's what we do, baby. See you in the next one.